Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Philip. Today I would like to show you how to uh, grab a sword with the Witcher Rig. Since we have some questions from participants of our challenge, how to do it, it might be a little bit confusing. So let's get started. I will show you step-by-step -step process how I approach that kind of things. So here we have our beloved Witcher, okay, Geralt. And right now, as you can see, swords are connected to the chest, okay? They're, they're actually connected not to the chest, but to this thing, and this is actually driven by the chest controller. So whenever I'm moving chest, this is connected, okay? We want to get rid of that. We want to make a connection with the sword and then make a nice grip and then drive our sword by the hand. Okay, so let's go to this frame and this is the moment when there is a contact with the sword, when we want to have a nice grip. So there is uh, something called a global parameter. So right now let's go to this frame, okay, when the, there is a contact with the hand. And we need to go to the channel box and there you have two parameters, okay, global and gro global translate. One is related more to the rotation, one for the translation. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that right now they're on zero, which means that they are driven by the chest controller, okay? And they're moving accordingly to the chest parameters, not to the global parameters, to the like workspace. And right now it's a zero uh, values for a global. So we need to change that either to 1, but for this rig we will have to change it to the 10, okay? So as you can see, sword is still moving, so it's still translating, but it's at least not rotating here, okay? It, it's really visible here. We can change this to the, also like a 10 value, and right now sword will be totally independent, okay? Everything is moving here, but this one stays in the same place. Okay, let's go back to our previous settings. It was just uh, like a you know quick uh, presentation, and we need to key that. We need to create an animation. So this is the moment when there is a contact, and we will create a key. Okay, right now they are still following after the chest, and this frame <laughs> we want to switch it to the value. 10 and 10 here, okay? So they will be independent from the chest. And let's place them in, I mean, it's uh, popping, right? You can create the switch so it can, you can maybe um, make it longer so it, it doesn't have to be just in one frame. It can happen like in, you know, five frames or something like that. So it's, it's much, much softer then. Okay. We can make it lower. If you have some unusual values here, it might be the case of the tangency. Sometimes if you will make it last for more than one frame, it might create some issues. So take a look also on your graph editor. And I'm just going to match the previous pose with that sort. Okay, and here we are. And from this frame, yeah, sword is not moving. We'll just kill the f other frames. And this is the moment when we want to create a nice grip with the hand, okay? And create connection, constraint. So I will go here to my hand controllers and I have something like a weapon, okay? Weapon controller here under palm. So it means that whenever I'm moving palm, this controller is, you know, like is connected still to the hand, but I can actually move this during animation, okay? So I will connect sort to this small controller and whenever I'm moving my hand, I can still have a control on the sort position so it's really nice like additional control 
So let's start with this. Okay, select this one, then sort parent child and then animation constraint. Let's maintain offset. Okay, and right now they're connected. And we just need to go and animate the blend parent parameter on the child. Okay, so here, blend parent, we need to create a key here and key here and press zero. Okay, so right now it's connected. It's moving after hand. And I think here we just need to switch this uh, with the global parameter to zero, right? Exactly. Here, there was an issue. Okay, that's cool. And let's create this. Let's put it to the previous position. You know, just, just put it on the zero. Here as well. So it's perfectly connected to the uh, to his back, and then we have this. And you know, it's connected to the to the hand and we can actually move this controller okay and we can make a make an adjustment for example so here you know we don't like the position we can change that so it helps tremendously if it comes to you know fixing your animation and adding some small details So right now I think it looks cool. So thank you for watching, hopefully it helps a little bit. And if you like this video, just press a like button, subscribe and see you in another video. Cheers.